Wow, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brandman Sean and I want to talk about should you get a business loan? Someone told me that they were getting out 25K to fund their rap career. They were going to get a loan like a traditional business loan. This is what we're talking about, people. Now, I can't stop somebody from taking out money, however you get that money. But what I can do is talk about the things you want to think through when you got 25,000 in hand. I've talked to people who've had 30,000 and 50,000, all of these big numbers, and it might not be taken out alone. But especially with a loan that you got to pay it back, let's talk about the things that you need to make sure you do. Now, first of all, the first thing in the music industry, number one rule, damn near what everybody is, do not spend money. If you really spend enough time in the music industry talking to enough people with the labels, I'm talking about the most professional professional of professionals, you would pretty much find out that most of these people are not trying to spend money. Point blank. It could be a big star, big manager, and they probably got some intern, somebody interning for free. Now, they like to say it's because you got to put that work in, but it's all kind of industries that people are paying people well to be interns. So that's just a music industry thing, but I'm not going to get stuck on that. Why that's so important is it's the perfect mentality when you have a lot of money and you don't want to waste no money. So what I'm going to do is go over three things that you want to make sure you do when you have a large sum of money. First and foremost, you need to go ahead and think about yourself like a label, whether you got a loan from somewhere or whether, you know, people passed and you got an inheritance. I've encountered a lot of different scenarios. You need to think like a label and say, is this artist validated. Now in business, especially in the tech world, there's this thing called a minimal viable product and you really want to get that product out there to see if people are buying, if people are biting. You want some sense of the idea that people actually want this product. It's not just this thing in my head that I think is a great business idea. It's the same thing for an artist. You want to know if people actually rock with you. So before you start spending all this money or even taking out loans, I would really look to bootstrap and pay as little money as possible to get some kind of traction going. Even let's just say you got 30K, don't say, oh, I'm gonna build this big 20K marketing plan. I'm gonna say, what can I get myself to do with $500? I'm not gonna spend any more than $500 and force yourself to get the biggest bang for your buck. And if you can't get no traction for that amount of money, then you probably don't wanna throw more money behind that thing because you aren't in that position. Maybe you will develop into that position as an artist, but don't just think putting a lot of money behind yourself is going to necessarily make you big. Number two, what are you going to do for revenue? How are you going to bring money in after you start spending this money? Are you just spending this money just to hopefully create a product? You're going to spend 20k on like studio time and stuff like that and then have this great product but now have no money left after that to market yourself? Or are you spending money almost as investment. Now you are an artist, you have some fan base, and maybe you just want to spend that money to go on tour and make that money back. I prefer the latter. I really don't think artists should spend too much money just creating the product in the first place because there's so many cheap ways to get it done these days and to get quality work these days. Don't think just because you got a $5,000 video that it's going to do the same as some other artists, some big artists, because there's a lot of artists that are spending that much money on their video. but aren't really getting those results and it's just five thousand dollars in the hole maybe 60 views 70 views don't make that you and number three what are your relationships looking like consider this before you really think about trying to spend all this money why because what did i say before i even got into the rules people in the industry are not trying to spend money why because they know that at the end of the day anyway you spend a lot of money and you really don't have the proper infrastructure you're really fucked. Keep it straight up. But if you have the right infrastructure, you can actually get a lot of stuff done without spending money in the first place. What does that infrastructure look like, Sean? Well, we're talking about relationships half the time. If you know these people, know those people, you spend time really building true relationships, there's a lot of stuff you can get done for no money at all or low cost. But if people don't really know you, they don't really have relationships with you, yeah, they're gonna say, oh man, there's this dude who came up on me. He had a lot of money. How was I going to turn that opportunity down? But at the same time, they're not going to charge you the discount that they would charge people that they have a real relationship with. And what's that going to do? That's going to make you run out of money pretty quickly at the end of the day. And now you don't have established relationships. So when you're done, you're done. Maybe your money can get you in the door sometimes, but hopefully if you're in that door, you're spending time trying to build real relationships with those people. Hard to do in a short amount of time, but that infrastructure doesn't necessarily just have to be relationships like I know this PR person. Think of it specifically like, hey, number two was revenue. How are you going to make money with 
the money that you're putting in, think about the fact that if you don't really have any tour relationships established so you can set yourself up, then how are you gonna make money if you can't tour? If you don't really have any playlist relationships set up, how are you really gonna get yourself on these playlists, on the official playlists? Like, there's different relationships in different places and in the industry, most of infrastructure is really just actual people, real relationships. So spend some time before you really go heavy and just throwing cash out there, developing relationships. I've doubled down on that a lot this year. I've invested so much time in talking about relationships. If you haven't read Master Music Networking, check that out at mastermusicnetworking.com. I'm actually about to do a free networking course that I'm gonna drop over email soon enough. Three hacks to networking in the music industry or something like that. I did some guy that's free. Check it in the description below i'll put it there but you have to have relationships it's so important not in just the music industry the entertainment industry as a whole it's important everywhere in life but especially in the entertainment industry but anyway i want to know what you guys think about taking out a loan to fund your rap career or what if you just have a large sum of money and how you think you would act and what you would do if you had that large sum of money because i know most of y'all say money is y'all's problem. I guarantee you it's more so relationships. Anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe.